Hello, welcome to English Teacher Guy. This is the first video that I've made for my new A-level class and it's all about the historical context of Captain Corelli's mandolin. Uh, what I like to do before I start to study a text is to try and pick up the zeitgeist, the spirit of the age, um, for the period when the book was written. So for this particular case what we'll be looking at is the zeitgeist of the period of the 1980s which is during the time when uh, Captain Corelli's mandolin was being thought up and it runs through the 1980s all the way up to 1993 when the book was published and a little bit beyond really into the period when the book was being read. So the 1980s is a period of time dominated by one particular character uh, the Conservative Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and she embodied a way of thinking which was defined entirely by money. Uh, during the 1980s there was a boom in which people made large sums of money and British industry was modified beyond all recognition. The free market economy really came into its own in Britain in the 1980s. Uh, it's also depicted very well in a film called Wall Street where people were asked to make decisions between doing what was right and doing what was profitable look up a video called Greed is Good on YouTube. This character, loads of money, um, depicted some of the British tradesmen who made fortunes out of the booming British property industry. A lot of people made fortunes using this device as well which came into its own in the 1980s as people were able to close deals and make money very fast. You might recognize this gadget. Uh, mobile phones are first issued to people by their employ employers at that time nowadays we buy them for ourselves uh, really very useful for making people work when they're not in the workplace uh, that became very fashionable through the 1980s and continues to a certain extent even today computers also enable people to do far more work in far more different places and nowadays of course enable people to do a lot of their work at home um, technology through the 1980s changed dramatically Windows replaced MS-DOS and that meant that far more people could use computers. Um, this one's a bit of a cheat really because it's from 1994 but what you start to see really is that, that people are working outside conventional hours and the normal bank holidays and traditional Sundays off no longer apply. Um, that sort of began with other industries and ended up in retail. Traditional industries begin to get closed down. Um, manufacturing industry and mining are eliminated uh, during the 1980s and the British coal mines are closed down and virtually everyone ends up working in tertiary industries, offices. The trouble with office work is that it can be very stressful. Service industries can be very stressful and stress leads to divorce, marital breakdown, marital breakdown leads to a very different style of family life in which very often the children are neglected. When you look at the films of the time that you can see quite clearly that there's a big focus on parenting. Stress becomes a social problem. Prozac becomes a popular drug. Large numbers of people end up on antidepressants in order to survive the life that they've chosen. With Black Wednesday the economy practically collapses and people are forced to question uh, the sort of lifestyle that they've led up to then. People were overnight ruined and everything they'd worked for seemed to vanish into thin air. Another aspect of the zeitgeist of the 1990s and 1980s is the changing perception that we have of ourselves and of different ethnic uh, groups. As we move into the 1980s, we change our whole view of ourselves. Different parts of society are expected to get a say. Uh, that means black people, gay people, women get to say a little bit about their lives, rather than just to be poked fun at um, by bigoted comedians. History begins to change, because we begin to expect that people from social groups such as um, black immigrants have a say in what has happened in the past. That mural that you see was painted in Reading to represent black history. During the 1970s Alex Haley writes a book called Roots which is successfully adapted for the TV depicting 
a slave taken from Africa and made to work in American plantations. Here's a TV show which depicted a character going back in time from middle class modern society back into ordinary society in America in the 1950s and 60s and the sole purpose of most of his missions was to put right the injustices of the past. This has becomes a recurring theme. We begin to see entertainment which depicts time from the perspective of the ordinary person. So rather than going back in time to assassinate Hitler, characters go back in time to visit their mum. Uh, Schindler's List of course does take a serious historical theme but cleverly takes the perspective of ordinary people or at least um, non-political figures. Here there's a British wartime drama told through the eyes of two servants. This TV show, Star Trek, I think is a really lovely example of how people's perspectives had changed. Back in the 60s there were three male characters who ran the show. In the 1980s we have a black disabled man, a woman who's in charge of feelings, you have a female chief of security with a very masculine assistant. You have a female doctor, chief medical officer, and an old man whose job it is to make the wise decisions by calling together his whole staff for board meetings. You have a little boy on the bridge of the ship, and the traditional alpha male figure is relegated to the position of number two. Through this whole period, people start to question the roles of men in society. And into the mix goes the prominence of homosexual society, homosexual groups. And with AIDS and HIV, it's important that homosexuality comes out of the closet. Women start to get a voice as well in a different way. They start to complain about being abused and exploited. And life generally gets very complicated. So complicated that people want a break. They want life to be simpler again and when you look at the forms of entertainment like film and TV that people are looking to for their escape you can see a clear strand of nostalgia people wanting to see a society where there was no telephone no fax no computer they like the um, comedy drama of Bally Kiss Angel where everything has a happy ending and people are very simple Darling Buds and May, very successful TV comedy of the time, which depicted a VAT inspector going in, into the countryside and being adopted by a simple country folk. So, in summary, you can see there are quite a number of substantial changes in British society which make Captain Corelli's Mandolin a particularly relevant book, and perhaps this accounts for why it became a bestseller. Um, one of the big bonuses of coming out of the 1980s into the 1990s is that, thank God, we say goodbye to this fluorescent pink and purple combination, which was the basis of a large number of shell suits that nobody wants to remember. Thank you, and good night.